this weekend, more than 100 artists will bring out the paint brushes and head to the Bluff City for the annual Paint Memphis Festival. Jordan Foster is live at one of the newest murals being painted at the city and state coffee shop. Jordan, don't tell me you're an undercover artist and we didn't know it. Showing off for us today, huh? <laughs> Hey, listen, I, I, I'm a man of many talents. What can I say? No, look at my mural. No, I'm joking. This is uh, Miss Emma's mural right here. She's actually in from out of town. She's one of those more than 150 artists that are coming in to help beautify the city. Now we're going to walk over, put that down really quickly. Thanks for giving me a much needed break. We're going to walk over to Miss Karen, who's going to tell us a little bit more. How excited are you all for this event this weekend? Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We have over 150 artists coming half from Memphis, half out of town, and we are on Broad Avenue on Saturday. It's our biggest event, our biggest part of our event. From 12 to 6, we have over 50 vendors. We have skateboarding workshops, a mural workshop. We have an, uh, the Kumar Indian Dance Troupe. So there's so many things to do and yeah. lots of stuff for kids and families and grown-ups and all sorts of stuff. And that's what I was going to ask you, right? Because, you know, there are many things for people to do who want to, just like me, come out and kind of participate, right? If the artist at the artist's discretion. Talk to us about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just get permission from the artist and they will gladly give you a brush or a roller and let you have them out. Mm -hmm. And then I really love, we got to talk yesterday, I really love what you say, the reason that you that you told me you all inspired, that inspired this and why you all are doing this. Why are you all going around Memphis and painting these many different murals? Well, this is our eighth year, so we have changed locations every year. And one of the reasons we do it, obviously, is to beautify Memphis. But the other part, which is the bigger part, is to give everybody access to public art. And so there are a lot of people in Memphis who are never going to go in a museum are never going to go in a gallery, but they are going to drive down the street or walk or ride their bike or ride a bus or whatever, and they deserve to see amazing art too. So that's why we do it. We want to bring all different kind of people together, and I think that um, art sort of erases, it levels everybody, it puts them on the same playing field, and everybody deserves a chance to be able to enjoy beautiful art. Wow, that was beautifully said. As you hear, they hear this weekend, Saturday, come on out, help people. You can bring the kids. They have activities for everybody. Yvonne, you may even have to get out here, too, and help Trevor with some stuff, because I've seen a couple of Trevor's drawings. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could hear his mic. Can you turn Trevor's mic on really quick? He's talking back. <laughs> Jordan, don't play with me like that. Don't start with me. <laughs> hey, I think this is an excellent idea, Jordan. You have one of the artists there with you. Can you give us a look at the mural that's behind Yes. you and a little bit more about what we're looking at. So basically this is going to, and, and, and I, I can tell you this is going to be my rough, my rough draft kind of explaining it, but basically um, this is basically signifying we're grown, we, we're born um, with a story that's already given to us essentially. Um, this person is basically growing up and have decided to let all of those pages that people have wrote for them go. So um, this person is being set free. She's letting go of all the, the story that was given to her and she's making her own story. So very beautiful. Can't wait to see this one um, when, when we're done, when she's done with this one. Jordan, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it.